with you, Hans. It's the Universal Soldier right here. Take a quick couple minutes, you know, talk to you about a uh, couple of things dealing with, you know, prosperity and such. You know, a lot of people have prosperity confused, thinking that it's something that deals with wealth and things of that nature. Uh, finances. No, not at all. Prosperity is, you know, progressive thought, constructive thought, and being able to know how to utilize it, you know, in a social in a social construct. A lot of people misconfuse prosperity because there are other terms out here that we also misuse, such as economics and uh, financial awareness. You know, economics is understanding how to produce resources within your environment. Eco deals with the environment and ecology. Nomics deals with the home, habitat, things of that nature. So again, economics is understanding the production of resources within your environment and habitat. Financial awareness is when you start discussing matters of investment, trade, stock, and things like that. So even understanding or being prosperous with our, um, with our quality of life and being able to produce a prosperous quality of life really starts with communicating properly and dealing with um, a good foundation, a solid, a solid foundation that we all can build from, that we all can learn from, and that we all can stand on equivalently. Um, a lot of times what happens, though, is that you have people who want to gain a different sense of prosperity. They want to be recognized for various reasons. They want to feel appreciated and things of that nature. And a lot of that deals with the fact that we don't value each other, so we're not giving to each other on a constant basis. So a lot of people feel voids and things like that that they feel need to be... Um, taken care of so they compensate and fill these voids with a very low uh, I guess we can say value system like the things that they do there what they start to consider again successful wealth and everything like that has nothing to do with the quality of life and that's where things start to get messed up like every step everything that you should everything that you do should deal with the quality of life if that is the case, then quality of life is always being taken care of and everybody is always going to be supported and everybody is always going to be in a position to take advantage of an opportunity to better themselves because quality of life is the first thing. When we break that down and start looking at, well, I want to do this for me, and again, with the pre dealing with preferences, preferences have nothing to do with the quality of life. Preferences are personal. And when we get personal sometimes, that is again where we allow room for neglect and other things that uh, hinder us as a people together and hinder us from working together. Our potential, our greatest potential is found in our unity and in recognizing each other as uh, equals on the road to prosperity. Though we are not equals in strength and weaknesses, all of us are uniquely formed I would say but those uniquenesses and those differences are what gives us all balance my weaknesses there's another person out there to help balance that because he has strengths where I'm weak and then there's places that I'm strong where another person is weak us working together allows us to move together as one so the better that we know each other the better that we are able to work with each other and support each other and know hey I need to help him and I need some help at this moment when we're honest like that there's no stopping us from reaching our potential there's no stopping us from laying a foundation of prosperity for the children to grow from but if we're sitting still trying to figure all of this out and still trying to figure out what our next step should be when clearly we know what the next step should be then we're stagnating the progress and the prosperity for the youth. And it's really an unfair situation when adults do not do what they can do to make things better for children. Like that's, that should be all of our duty as adults or as growing people to make sure that what we leave behind is something that is going to benefit every child along their growth, along their road of development. 
because we know what we lack as a people, as a society. Why aren't we putting that in place for the next generation? These people and I, we are educators. Annihilators of ignorance, perpetuators. A discipline that is best, pure examples of. Positivity in the flesh can get a sample of it. Learn to be one yourself, your whole family love you. Greatest conquest of self placing those around above you.